Since I'm coming from Croatia, ex-Yugoslav country, uh, memory and politics of memory and dealing with the past and, at all is a very sensitive and uh, a very present problem in, in Croatian society. And uh, we are not dealing, we are struggling with our past and with our memory. So, um, in, in one way, there is always individual process. Uh, all of us, uh, we need to deal with, uh, not only with our history, but also with, with the history of uh, society. But then it is, in a way, um, uh, society memory, uh, common memory. So, uh, uh, since it is individual process, uh, but also a uh, 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 society process, the state should be uh, involved in, in that process. And for example, if, through textbooks in schools, through um, memori memories of uh, uh, some events, uh, 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 taking care of uh, monuments and so on. So, I think uh, it is both very important for uh, all of us as individuals, but also uh, members of, of society to, uh, to, to, to have in mind, to keep in mind uh, memory and dealing with the past. Croatian society is uh, divided, deeply divided, not because of future, but it is divided on the past. Uh, Croatian society is not divided about tax policies or uh, foreign policy or the future of European Union. It is still divided about uh, Second World War period, about uh, socialist period or about last war in the 90s. So uh, there, are, there are really different aspects of dealing with those periods and different institutions. Of course, uh, state, especially during the 90s, uh, state uh, was trying to introduce one patriot uh, approach and uh, history was, in a way, tool for uh, raising uh, patriotism, nationalism, uh, nation building. Uh, and uh, this process uh, was not always uh, democratic. So, it is still a struggle, uh, sometimes between uh, NGOs and state, some, sometimes between individuals, experts, journalists. Different experts are involved in that process and it should be like that, but strong revisionism is uh, present and it is uh, for sure connected with the present situation. During the 45 years of socialist period, uh, our approach to history was very tendentious, very um, monopolized by one party. And at the beginning of the 90s, we all agreed that uh, some kind of revisionism or some kind of re-evaluation re of uh, history is needed. Uh, but what happened in, in Croatia is that uh, one narrative, uh, one official narrative was just uh, replaced with another official narrative. So uh, from 90s till today, we don't have open uh, dialogue about the past. We don't have uh, open uh, multi-perspective approach. And uh, it's, it's uh, uh, obvious in street names, in monuments, uh, in public speeches of politicians, uh, celebrities and so on. So I think every aspect is uh, uh, very important, but I think crucial is a uh, uh, scientific approach uh, because right now, uh, in the moment, everybody uh, used chance to, to say something about the past and to uh, to express their impressions about the past, but in majority of cases without any argument. So it is democracy, but I don't think that uh, freedom of speech 
should uh, also consider freedom of uh, hate speech and sometimes it is uh, it is just uh, ju just it so I think dealing with the past should be uh, all society process it should be uh, involved all different uh, uh, factors in society but I think that uh, science experts they should be uh, crucial in that and and state should help uh, freedom of uh, research, freedom of uh, publishing books, uh, lectures and so on.